So we're here at the UITP conference in Hamburg and there's halls with buses, with ticketing systems, with signage, but we're specifically on the Moya stand uh, and specifically with the Volkswagen ID Buzz long wheelbase AD autonomous driving and what we have with that is a standard production vehicle with the addition of the sensors. So driven by Mobileye, you can see here, you have this unit on the top with LiDARs, etc., and then you have your LiDAR units around the corners. Very tastefully done, actually, and I like this, the kind of hive effort on the side of it. Um, and so lots of cameras, sensors, additional bits and pieces going on. And then on the inside, you can see more sensors on the front of it, more LiDAR units. You've got your uh, steelies, which are really nice. And then, on the, you can see on the B pillar, you have the uh, pin card on this one. But this will operate with a NFC on the B pillar. Inside here, you can see what it actually gonna look like. So you've got two seats here, two seats here. In the test drive unit that we're going to operate in, we're going to be uh, operating in the, <laughs> see this closed off. You've got some luggage compartment here sensors built up on the side to, in, to look at the people on the inside. Your start stop button here, SOS support. And in the um, unit that we're gonna take on a test drive, there's gonna be screens at each of the three seats, but there is four seats inside. Very nice. And in space, I'm six foot two, 188 centimeters. And that's the beauty of the long wheelbase buzz. You've got headroom, you've got leg room, like lots of leg room here. Your start stop button. So this is all prototype stuff. So that is the Moya Volkswagen ID Buzz AD. What we're going to do now is my first time ever driving in an autonomous vehicle. Let's take it out and let's take it out. Let's go for a ride in an autonomous vehicle. All right, we are here at Lagerstrasse around the fair and we will book an autonomous ride. And yeah, starting by just confirming our location. Then picking up a destination, uh, we choose Landungsbrücken, which is a really famous place uh, here in Hamburg, close to the River Elbe. We're confirming the ride and we are three guests. So displaying offers. And now we are booking a vehicle, just as in any other mobility app you are familiar with. Mm -hmm. And if the vehicle has arrived, we will authenticate ourselves via the NFC. Okay. Because this is important as if we have a driverless uh, mobility service, there's no driver that can authenticate the right customers. Is everyone buckled up? Mm -hmm. All this is automated in our um, Moya AD Mars ecosystem platform. Very good. And yeah. It's so it's tracking to make sure that we're in the right location. So exactly. we're at the stop, so it's after saying that. Yeah. Uh, and it tells that the we vehicle... We are at the stop, but it, if Perfect. we weren't, there would be a dotted line showing To go us to, to exactly, exactly. So it could be used at a public transport hub, like an airport or a bus station, and there may be a designed or designated area where exactly. you might have to go and walk there. Yeah. yeah. But it has the capability of picking up anywhere, yeah. if required also. Yeah. Okay. This is our weekend. Perfect. Sarah? And so the NFC and the phone. Yeah. We, will see. we are starting the check-in. Oh, so bottom of the B pillar. Oh, very good. Ready to scan. Excellent. Please. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay, so it tells you that you can, you're not seat belted up. So we need to do this. And so you can see yeah, exactly. so everything is in front of me. So now it knows that we're buckled up. It's going to do a pre-departure check. Nice animation. And then we get the clearing from the fleet control center. Uh, and then we are allowed to take the mission. Okay. And now, uh, 
Um, so currently running with safety drivers for a couple of bit. Say it again. So it's running with safety drivers for a little while more until we become, become driverless. Exactly. So we start uh, driverless fleets if we have full certification for the EU and for the US. Mm -hmm. And this is, so to say, the precondition to take the driver out. Okay, understood. Uh, regulatory side. And from 1st of July, we will open up the waiting list for a Close user group testing here in our hometown Hamburg, and currently um, employees of Volkswagen Group and Moya are already allowed to use and book and test the entire customer journey we are displaying here today. Okay. And we will open up this for the public gradually. So we will start with the initial uh, service area. We have a limited um, amount of people and then we'll gradually build up. Build it out. Okay. Always going to be in a three seat configuration? Exactly. It will be not the series production vehicle, but this prototypes. And series production you hope to have four seats? Exactly. Okay, two and two. Yeah. With the passenger in the front ever or here, potential? There will be the luggage compartment. Okay. So up here in the front area. Exactly. Interesting. Very good. And so you can see internally the cameras then as well that are picking up whether I'm wearing a seatbelt, but also exactly. connected to the yeah. sensor in the seat potentially, yeah. and also sensor in the seatbelt buckle. So it's picking up, utilizing existing VW hardware, but also additional cameras. Mm -hmm. And the fleet center can look internally to make sure. And also can establish a audio connection okay. in order to talk to you. Okay, very good. So David, is the driver and connecting at all or is the car doing this all itself, depending on the situation? So still in safe... In fully autonomous mode. However, we have a standing policy that the hands must be close to the okay. wheel. Um, but the, the, uh, the ride is autonomously. Yeah. Very good. And yeah, the safety drivers have to be able to yeah step, mm -hmm. step in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Hence why hands close to exactly. steering wheel. Yeah. So it's indicated itself there. It's going to change lane. It knows it's turning right. This screen is also quite interesting because this basically shows the, what the vehicle perceives. The mobilized stuff. Exactly. LiDAR, radar, ultrasonic. And cameras. And cameras. Because you were relying on just one sensor, camera as an example, not always like a snow, exact, etc. So hence why testing in Oslo, you couldn't rely on just camera in a snowy environment because everything is white. Exactly. Your, your LiDAR, your radar, your ultrasonics. Exactly. That full mo sensor suite. If you want to deploy autonomous vehicles in northern Europe, let's say, mm -hmm. you need radars, okay. snow, yeah, rain, yeah, yeah. Um, Ireland, yeah. um And climate weather, yeah. Exactly. You can see lots of situations where double parking, people walking out. Indicated, pulled in, and stop. Door opens, and you can exit. End of journey. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Okay, so it shows the capability of one versus the other. Excellent.
Thank you, Sarah. Yes. And you're using swarm data from Volkswagen Group also, their exactly. passenger vehicles. Yeah. An interesting junction here now because you've got you've got this weird system in Germany where you can still turn even though there's yeah. passengers. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have that in Ireland. Yeah. But no problem there. So that is my first experience in an autonomous vehicle and there it goes off the ID Buzz AD. Really interesting to see the sensors and the level of safety that's required. So many things were thrown at it today with regards to double parking, pedestrians, red lights, all this kind of crazy stuff. So it was great to see that um, the computing power, the sensing technology and how it's going to be the future. And it's, I'm always going to look back on this video as to this was what happened, or this is the first time I experienced autonomous driving here in Hamburg in 2025 uh, on a real life situation. And so hopefully you've enjoyed that first look. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so hit the like button. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, even a self-driving one, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.